Last week, a large fire destroyed the old Uplands Mansion in West Baltimore. Preserving historic buildings like these and other stories, the priority for one Baltimore City agency. Preservation is really about the community, about really trying to find and celebrate and bring meaning back into neighborhoods. This morning, we take a closer look at what's going into achieving landmark status, not just for homes and buildings, but even neighborhoods. Plus, for my almost 40 years of law enforcement, I, I've, I've never seen what we have now. Baltimore County Police Chief Robert McCullough is talking about what he's seeing when it comes to juvenile crime. The mentorship program available through the police department that's offering young people a different path. And later, when you talk about the issues that impact them, it's like, hmm, maybe my vote does matter. Getting black women to get out to the polls. Black Girls Vote started the movement right here in Baltimore. Their focus heading into the 2024 election cycle and beyond. That's all coming up this morning on 11 TV Hill. And hello everyone, I'm Jason News and welcome to 11 TV Hill. We have heard the reports and seen the numbers. The state is seeing more car related crimes committed by young people. So this morning we talked to Baltimore County Police about one mentorship program aimed at reaching kids after they have committed an offense, all to reverse the trends. Baltimore County Police Chief Robert McCullough and Lieutenant Anissa Thomas join us now to talk a little bit about youth crime right now. Thank you for coming by. It's good to see you both. Thank you. Uh, I was just impressed. There was a meeting that you held in Randallstown. It was the most uh, informative, most engaged community meeting I saw because it seemed like there was a lot of skin in the game from the residents in Randallstown. Did you feel the same way? It, it was. Um, everyone, uh, they were very engaged. Um, they were uh, very concerned about the topic and they seem to be very concerned about our youth. Sure. You, you brought up, you said the number that's really astronomical right now for young people uh, involve car thefts uh, and you went through some of the numbers of ages uh, as young as 12 years old. Which uh, We're seeing them as young as 10. Wow. Um, but uh, the average age is 12 to 14. Okay, which to me just is mind blowing. It, it, I don't it know is. if I would know anything about stealing a car at 14 years old. Well, in my, own, my almost 40 years of law enforcement, I, I've, I've never seen what we have now. What you do have going for you are a number of programs, and you, you've worked pretty hard to make sure that they maintain themselves. Maryland law doesn't allow you to do some of the things that you were able to before, but you're engaging with young people. And how important is that relationship right now? It, it's important. It, it's important that we uh, monitor our youth, have that engagement, and, and be able to uh, to intervene and interact in their in their lives. And and when they're going down the wrong path, be able to to give them some incentive to go the right way. Lieutenant Thomas has joined us. You talked a little bit about the Joins program and some others. You start early to make sure that you have a face in their lives, not just as an officer with a badge, but someone who cares about them in the community, it sounds like. Absolutely. And our um, Joins program, which is called Juvenile Offenders in Need of Supervision, is for threshold offenders. So those who may have committed a misdemeanor or two, um, we try to capture them early with a crime or if they have a crime we capture them early we we do have to charge them mm -hmm. however the goal is to keep them out of the juvenile justice system so we assign them with the joints officer that officer will assign them some duties as a probation they will assist them with restitution they also want to make the victim whole so if the youth is willing to participate and a parent is willing to participate then they participate and the success rate is really high for that program. What makes someone successful in there? I mean, what, what, what changes them from the, the young person that you picked up on the street to now, I mean, some end up being in your cadet program. So that relationship that they build with that joints officer is very important. Um, the parent plays a pivotal role in ensuring that that relationship is successful. Um, they, the officer spends time with these groups of children. They take them to different places. Um, part of their probation may be cleaning, cleaning something for the victim, cleaning at, um, we have a horse farm that they take them to, cleaning certain property. They may have to write a letter apologizing. Um, they learn, you know, they learn to take accountability for their action. And then they build that relationship with someone outside of their home also. So that helps them to decide, hmm, this may be something that I want to do in the future. I want to make a difference. I want to help out as well. I want to help to rehabilitate children to keep them out of the system. That is the whole goal of the program. Chief, how did Maryland law change? Before, if you're an offender, let's say younger than 13 years old, how is it different from three years ago, say, to, to now? Well, uh, well, since they changed the law before that, if, if a child was um, older than eight years or older, they could be charged with a crime. Okay. When they changed the law, now um, our, our, our juveniles who are 12 years and under 
can't be charged with most crimes. Now, they can still be charged with uh, a, a serious crime of violence, okay. but other than that, they can't be charged with crime. So the young person you're talking about who might be from 10 to 13 who has uh, stolen a car once, it, they could do it 10 times, uh, and the only consequence is you go home. Yes. Okay. As a police officer, how does that make you feel, at least it's the job well, that you do? Well, it, it frustrates me because prior to this law change, we didn't see kids 10, 11, 12, not even 13, we saw very few um, involved in car theft. Since the law change, prior to the law change, most of our, our car th thieves were above the age of 18, 18 and older. Okay. Since the law change, I mean, it just completely flipped. Uh, most of our uh, car thieves are under the age of 18, they're 17 mm. to down to 11, 12, 10 years old. So do you think it's older guys putting younger guys up to it, or do you think younger guys feel, well, there's no consequence, I'll just go ahead and, and do it? Well, part of it, it has been the, the whole social media craze, uh, because uh, the whole uh, uh, the TikTok Hyundai, and, yeah, yeah. Kia, TikTok challenge, sure. it's been put on social media. So you, you can go on social media, see how to steal, you know, the auto, the automobile yeah. using the, you know, a USB cord. Yeah. Kids go out and, you know, they, they now know the laws change. They can't get in trouble. So, hey, let's so go out and have a little fun. You mentioned a teen summit and that's coming up. I'm curious of what's involved there and you're getting young people to be part of it. So the Teen Summit is being held at Newtown High School on November the 11th and then begins at 10 o'clock. Um, there's a youth-led panel and there's an adult-led panel. Uh, children will be able to engage with the panels to talk about entrepreneurship, social media, challenges, um, issues that they may be facing in school. And outside of that, there will be about 36 vendors lined up outside of the high school or in the hallway where children can go out and their parents and get some information on behavioral uh, wellness, workforce development, um, jobs, sure. anything that you can think of. We're trying to throw them as many resources as possible just to give them something positive, some positive reinforcements and to connect them with some different organizations. There's some fraternities and sororities that will be there also. There's live entertainment. Um, we have a young lady um, named Lexi P mm -hmm. who will be performing there. Uh, she has products at Sally's Beauty and she's yeah. 18. So yeah. she's an entrepreneur and she'll be able to speak with the kids about that. So it'll be a pretty exciting event. You're it's a full service law so, enforcement agency. Yeah, we, we have <laughs> putting the work in. plenty of programs and um, our department's social media page advertises those programs constantly. It's on heavy rotation. Thank you both for Thank coming you. by. We, we appreciate, appreciate the work it. you're Thank doing. You, Jason. Certainly.